What's up, YouTube? I mean, world. I mean, galaxy in the future, hopefully. Um, just been reading a lot lately, y'all. Like, just actually catching up on this history, you know, that Nietzsche and Emerson probably mastered at my age. I feel really behind, so I've been like, all this uh, Mars and the Sun and all that shit in Capricorn made me really like possessive and materialistic. Like, I was a book hoarder forever. So, Mars is finally in Aquarius. Out of my 12th house of secrets and solitude and into my first house of confidence. So, I already can tell an energy boost and it feels great. But now I can interpret all those books and actually immerse myself in them. So, it's kind of a perfect cycle of Capricorn knowing what to get. Aquarius is the last air sign. So, Gemini um, gathers information. Libra, like, uh, balances it out, makes it beautiful, and, and Aquarius, you know, interprets the information. Um, but yeah, I just want to remind y'all, 21 degrees in Aquarius, I'm not a Capricorn. I have a lot of Capricorn traits, um, but I'm definitely born February 10th, Aquarius 1, ruled by Uranus and the Sun, so I have problems sleeping. Like, my mind is like too lightning fast, and like, I feel like that dude in powder sometimes. What's weird is Jeff Goldblum and him are both Libras like Nietzsche, who fucking fucked with lightning, you know? So sad that, like, last year I posted that video in 2010 about talking to professors. That whole year I emailed people and I get squat shit, of course. So, like, fuck it. I'll do my own thing. Um, but yeah, I really think these days, um, I'm going to be more reading instead of just creating for the sake of it. I need to read and catch up with, you know, the world. Because this is a really small blue dot, but a lot of shit went down well before you started occupying that little space. Like, imagine if there was a you 500 years ago who was, like, more you than you could ever be because they had, you know, they had to reach their potential more in those days. These days were all lazy. Well, you'd want to fucking read them. The only way to find out, there's no fucking films. You know, you have to read to understand people. And if you don't understand, you know, the past, how can you ever have an opinion on abortion or stem cells, you know? Anyway, that's off topic. Uh, I just counted. I have, like, uh, a little over 100 books on my iPad. So imagine if that costs 5 bucks each. That's 500 bucks, the, the amount of an iPad. I, I wasn't just saying it as a phrase earlier. Like, the iPad is so worth it as an e-reader because you can get all these different websites. Chill, cat. <laughs> it's actually the year of the cat slash rabbit, you know, because in Japan they, like, ate all the rabbits, so for them Chinese astrology was, was the cat. I guess it makes sense after tiger. See that fucking vein, dude? Damn. I get my looks from being the tiger, but I get my sensitivity and artistry and uh, suave from the rabbit cat, and uh, the brains from the Aquarius, the ambition from the Mars Aries, Uranus, Saturn, Sagittarius, um, the manifestation of Neptune conjunct Venus and Capricorn, opposing my comfort zone. I'm Moon and Cancer, just like DJ Screw, so I really feel my environment. I know what they were saying, you know. But yeah. Anyway, I want to put myself on a pedestal. Like the Marquis de Sade with Pluto and Scorpio like me. And y'all probably, if you're born 84 through 96. But it, wait, never mind, grown-ups watch my videos. So, what are kids doing these days?